Phineas and Ferb are becoming staples at Disney's theme parks thanks to the popular Disney Channel cartoon show. I like Phineas and Ferb. I like it because every day they do something always crazy. Okay, everyone, I think the tale is all set. The voice of the triangle-shaped Phineas got the part because he knew geometry. I took geometry honors in 10th uh, grade, I think, and uh, yeah, I got, I got A's, so... It's actually one of the skills on his resume, which is why they hired him. That's the only reason, actually. It's one of his strengths. Yeah. What you doing? Turning Perry's involuntary reflex into a sporting event. Hi, Perry. Can I try? <laughs> I just decided to channel Shirley Temple and Isabella came to be. The voices behind the characters paid a visit to Orange County at the D23 Expo. Um, well, I really like the OC, um, but I like it even better if Phineas is there because he's the best. Ah, oh, I love Phineas. Well, I don't know what she was talking about, but I love the OC. I mean, me and my brother Ferb come here all the time. He's, he's somewhere around here. Hey, where's Perry? I don't know, he'll be back later, but he loves the OC too. He'll tell ya. Perry is the platypus. A big part of the show, a big part of the mission of Phineas and Ferb was to give voice to platypuses everywhere. This, this poor creature that at first no one even believed they were actually real, but they are real and they have a voice and we now know that. One moment he seems so quiet, and the next moment when he puts the hat, hat on, he's totally a different character here. He wears his little hat, and that's so cool about that. I'll give you a, a platypus conversation about that. Hey, where's Perry? Did he really slip away on his anniversary? Sometimes it seems like Perry's missed every single cool thing we've done all summer long. Mark Eads reporting for OCregister.com.